artificial intelligence, or AI, is the next big buzzword in the video games industry and, frankly, all sorts of entertainment industries. Unlike previous trends like blockchain and metaverse, new advancements in AI are set to bring big changes to the industry, with developers from AAA studios to indies all looking into how AI can transform games from more realistic NPC to shortening the development time of even the biggest MMOs. And it's not hard to imagine AI having an immediate transformative effect in games, because AI in games has already been around for a long time. So the question isn't whether or not AI will change games, as it is already a fixture in game development, but rather how the accelerating new advances in AI could disrupt the existing workflows. While other recent trends couldn't immediately answer how they could enhance gaming as a medium, AI doesn't suffer from the same vagaries. Both the positives and negatives of AI overtaking game development are easy to see, both in terms of how they could be applied and what practical results could come from them. The first question, whether or not AI will disrupt the game industry, is a somewhat complicated question given that AI is already a major part of the video game industry. If you've ever played a game where you're escorting a non-playable companion, they're being powered by AI, along with all the enemies and boss fights you encounter. No Man's Sky uses machine learning to create new planets for players to explore endlessly, making it another example of how AI tools are already being incorporated into popular video games. If you've played a video game where levels are generated procedurally, that too is using a form of AI, as developers aren't hand-making these new levels for players to try each time. And in fact, game reviewers have praised games where the AI is particularly impressive, or have called out games where the AI feels lacking. If you've ever encountered a computer-controlled enemy that dodges at the last moment or surprises you with an attack, it's a good chance that it's the work of AI. AI has been a part of games for many years now. It could be as simple as NPCs reacting to your gameplay or an enemy's behavior during battle. AI helps to make moments in games more dynamic. Monster Hunter gives their creatures AI that react to you. They realize when you're vulnerable and take advantage of that. The Nemesis system in the Shadow of Mordor and War Games give all the generals unique personalities and based on your actions, they change their stories thanks to AI. These are just a few examples, but I'm intrigued to see where AI goes next in games. On the player side too, AI is already being used to enhance the base gaming experience. While our How AI Will Change Technology video goes more in depth on this topic than I will, companies like Nvidia are using AI to improve video game graphics without users needing to upgrade to the most expensive hardware. All this is to say, AI is already a feature in game development as well as the game playing experience. Advancements in existing AI tools will only make these same features more impressive going forward, with particular excitement for how advanced AI language models can improve NPCs. Which brings us to our next point. I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. One of the most exciting advancements, particularly with the rise of language models like ChatGPT, is in improving non-playable characters, or NPCs. To get a better idea of how AI can make for a more realistic NPC, I asked OpenAI's ChatGPT directly. It said, One area where AI is already having a significant impact is in character behavior and decision making. AI algorithms can be used to create more realistic and believable non-player characters that interact with players in more natural and dynamic ways. For example, NPCs can be programmed to react to a player's actions, adapt to changing game conditions, and learn from their experiences. If that's something a chat-based AI program told me in response to a question, imagine that technology is used to create characters in the next Dark Souls game. The important thing to keep in mind about AI is that it should be treated like a tool. Uh, and specifically in the context of game design, I think it's important to look at it as a means of uh, easing the process of developing games. And the people who make games will still be human beings, creators, artists, designers, etc. But uh, if AI can help sort of ease the process of going from idea to actual creation, then that's cool. But it shouldn't be just the be all end all, the creation itself. So, uh, you know, hopefully it, it takes some of the weight off of all of the stuff that's a pain in the ass in making video games and makes it easier for more people to make games. One AAA video game developer already exploring AI for NPC dialogue is Ubisoft, who unveiled Ghostwriter, an internal AI script writing tool developed at Ubisoft LaForge. In a minute and a half long video released by Ubisoft themselves, the studio explained how Ghostwriter uses AI to create rough drafts of NPC chatter or barks. First, writers create a character with a variable input or a situation that the character experiences. Ghostwriter will then generate new lines for the character that a writer can then choose and edit. 
Ubisoft says the Ghostwriter AI will free up their writers who can then spend more time focusing on high-level narrative work like cutscenes or a game's overall story and character design. If we choose to take Ghostwriter as an example, Ubisoft is keen on calling the tool a time saver that will enhance efficiency and free up their developers to work on more important parts of the game. And that could very well be true. As game development time continues to extend with the requirements of more advanced technology, particularly AAA games, being able to save precious time on writing each individual NPC dialogue could help make development times more reasonable. And while the example used here was for background chatter, generative AI could be asked to create elements of a game that aren't necessarily unique, like the bushes in a forest, for example. In the same way, this would free a writer from having to spend time on individual NPCs that players will only encounter in the background, this could free up artists to work on more important and unique visual assets. This isn't just a benefit for large studios with extended development times either. GamesIndustry.biz spoke with indie game developer Shahid Ahmad, who said that AI could help smaller studios punch above their weight giving access to more advanced tools and assets, such as graphical and visual assets, to smaller teams that previously couldn't compete with AAA companies. Indie developers have been using AI basically as long as AAA developers have been using it. Uh, if you've ever played a game with procedural generation, where the game's making maps and rooms kind of on the fly as you play, that's a form of AI. Uh, a lot of games have NPC AI or enemy AI in them, and indie developers use all those tools too. Uh, it can make development easier, especially if they don't need to have giant teams and you know hire tons of people to make things for them. Uh, generative AI is a little more questionable and not as many indie developers are using it, but I've talked to folks who have used programs like ChatGPT to explain development concepts to them, like how to make something in Unreal or Unity, or they've used uh, generative AI to uh, inspire their games, uh, maybe to create some concept art that they then work on themselves, combining human elements and AI elements. So there's, you know, a lot of different ways that they're using it to make games easier. If AI has been around for so long in game development, why has there been such a recent wave of concern over the impact of AI technology in games? That's partly to do with what new AI tools are able to generate, particularly when it comes to writing, but also art and audio. Ubisoft is clear that Ghostwriter is only being used to write crowd chatter, telling Axios that it won't be used to generate plot, character backstories, lore, or any of the other core elements of a game's narrative. But as generative AI is taught using real work from existing artists and writers, there's a fear that AI could be used to replace human workers altogether. There are already plenty of examples online of generative AI recreating art assets in the style of existing, and in some cases, deceased artists. And AI voice generation is getting better at mimicking real life actors, putting voice actors at risk of losing their next role to an AI that could sound similar to them. There aren't a lot of safeguards protecting employees from losing their job to AI, in the same way that there weren't a lot of safeguards protecting manufacturing workers from losing their jobs to machines. As AI becomes even more advanced, being able to generate art, dialogue, voiceover recording, and even code, it'll be up to AI ethicists to examine the risk of flooding the market with tools that could potentially upend the labor market and force thousands out of work. So I'm hesitant to start jumping for joy over the implementation of AI-generated assets in video games. Now I can see the positives of overworked developers using it to streamline their processes and reduce the amount of time they spend crunching late into nights and weekends, but I can also see massive studios using it as a means to cut jobs, reduce staff, and leave creativity up to unpaid algorithms. When it comes to technology, humanity has a tendency to rip the genie out of its bottle and throw it at everything without stopping to think of the ramifications, and if a big greedy corporation can use it to lay off a person and get a machine to do it for free, you bet your ass they will. The question about what the future of games under AI will look like is really asking what existing AI in games will look like in the future. Language model AIs are the most prominent and exciting developments in the AI space with immediate applications for game development, particularly NPCs. The potential for deeper NPC interactions, more robust RPG systems, and even the ability for smaller studios to be able to create large-scale games that could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the biggest MMORPGs are all just some of the possibilities with the new AI revolution. But it'll take a careful watch to ensure that AI doesn't push out the human qualities that go into game development, or that predatory contracts don't sign over voiceover likenesses to AI studios, who can promise your next AAA game protagonist can be voiced by an AI. While it's not accurate to say video games are in the early stages of AI development, it's certainly a new chapter for the technology. 
and the industry will have to evolve with AI more than any other recent buzzword trend to hit gaming in the last five years.